Hello, and welcome to this week's edition of The Journey Journal. My name is Oscar Camejo, and I am the host of the main podcast, The Beating Diabetes Lifestyle Podcast. For those of you all who are joining me for the first time, The Journey Journal is published weekly on Mondays, and the main podcast, The Beating Diabetes Lifestyle Podcast, is published on Wednesdays. So I have a question to ask you as it relates to this week's episode. Do you struggle with knowing what to buy when it's time to shop for healthy food? Maybe you're struggling to to really get your healthy eating under control, to get your cravings thrown out, and you're trying to lose weight. And overall, you want to live and feel healthy. Listen, we've all been there. But sometimes you get stuck. You hear all of these things on social media, on television, all these different fads and all these different quick diets to lose weight in 30 days and all of that stuff. And you just get confused and it's so complicated. That's why in this week's episode, we're going to throw out all of that stuff and try to make it very simple for you and provide a simple way for you to choose healthy foods. Because listen, I don't like things to be complicated. When I decided to turn my life around, I found simple steps and I applied simple solutions to my own life so I could make this a healthy lifestyle. So in this week's episode, we're going to talk about how to make your healthy eating journey less complicated. And we're also going to talk about a simple method to use when shopping for healthy foods. This method is going to help you to remember what to buy every time you go grocery shopping from now on. So stick around to hear the rest of this episode. Before we get into today's short episode, here's some celebrity trivia you might find interesting. In 1994, this female Grammy Award winning singer learned that she had type 2 diabetes after collapsing on a stage while performing in New York City. When she woke up in the hospital, she was informed of her condition for the first time. Can you guess who that singer is? If you guess Patti LaBelle, you are right. Miss LaBelle is now an advocate for diabetes awareness all across the country. So big shout out to Miss Patti LaBelle for doing uh, some positive work out in the world and making a difference. So now let's go on to today's episode. When we first learned about having type 2 diabetes, many of us simply assumed that we had to start cutting out foods we enjoy and that we had to start eating foods we really don't like. Listen, that's furthest from the truth. I still enjoy certain foods that I like, but I just choose better option. And see, that's the thing that's very important for you and I. We have to understand that we simply have to choose better options. Yes, we have to manage blood sugar, making sure that we don't eat foods that's going to spike our blood sugar. All of that's very important. But we can, all of us, we can do better by eating lots of whole unprocessed foods that are full of nutrition. Listen, folks, I get it. There's so many options out there. And a lot of times we eat for taste and we're not thinking about nutrition, but we have to think about nutrition. That's why I'm an advocate of us eating whole foods. Basically, whole foods is this. That's eating foods that have not been processed or minimally prepared and unprocessed, not not packaged, not uh, created into something else, but food that is literally whole and unprocessed foods that are picked or raised in their natural habitats. So let me give you a couple of examples. Fruits and vegetables are whole, but veggie chips are not. If you like quinoa and brown rice, great. But now what about bread? Bread is processed. You got tomatoes versus store-bought pasta sauces. You get what I'm saying? You have an apple versus applesauce. The apple is whole fruit. The applesauce is processed from fruit and contains a whole bunch of sugar. What about an orange? An orange is a whole fruit versus orange juice, like all other fruit juices, are processed. All the fiber is stripped out, the nutrients are stripped out, and they put on the label of the carton or bottle that it's a 100% 
fruit juice, but it's still full of a lot of sugar. That's why I also tell people to beware of fruit cups like peaches and mandarin oranges that we normally give our kids. If you look at it, those things are sitting in a bunch of sugary syrup, which is not good. And we give that to our kids and we send them off to school and say, have a great day. But we're giving them a bunch of sugar, even though we're thinking we're giving them fruit. Yes, you may have cut up slices of fruit in it. But think about it. All of that fruit is sitting and being bathed in a bunch of sugar. We don't want to give that to our kids. Now, what about store-bought fruit smoothies and these vegetable drinks? Listen, they don't count as whole foods. They don't. Just because they contain fruit or they contain veggies, listen, they're also loaded with a bunch of sugar. I did a whole episode called Sugar Daddy. You definitely want to check that out. I want you to start shopping by color and variety. Okay, what do I mean by that? Let me give you a quick example. Here in the United States, for those of you who may be listening and tuning in outside of the United States and may have never visited the United States, uh, we have traffic lights. In other countries, you have traffic lights as well. But I want to use uh, the traffic light system here just as an example. So in the United States, we use traffic lights that have predominantly three colors. You have green, yellow, and red. Green means go. Yellow means slow down. Proceed with caution, but prepare to stop. So if you're driving, All three lights are very important. So again, green means go, yellow means slow down or prepare to stop. Red means go ahead and stop. Now, in this episode, I'm just going to focus on fruits and vegetables and not on meats and other proteins, sources of food. And the reason why is because a lot of us, we don't get enough fruits and vegetables in our diets. And I'm going to go over the benefits of including fruits and vegetables in just a moment. Now, here's the key and what I want you to do. I want you to start choosing at least one kind of whole fruit and one kind of whole vegetable based on each color category. So, for example, green, green apples and green spinach. See, that's a fruit and that's a vegetable. Yellow. Choose, for example, yellow squash or yellow banana. Red. You have red strawberries or red beets. The goal, again, is to choose one food item, one whole food item based on each category, each color. So you have to get a fruit and you have to get a vegetable that's green. You have to get a fruit and you have to get a vegetable that's yellow. You have to get a fruit and a vegetable that's red. Very simple, very easy to follow. So you don't want to leave your house without making your list. When you get to the store, all that extra stuff you normally buy and know that you need to get rid of, I want you to make sure that you're shopping by color and by variety. If you know anything about me, if you've seen any of my TikTok videos or Instagram videos, of the foods that I prepare, I cook with color. My smoothies, I make them based on color. My salads, I focus on color. Color is very important. We want to have a variety. Now, if you want to go ahead and add whatever else you want to your shopping list, that's great. Other colors, other varieties, that's awesome. The goal is to eat a variety and to make sure you're including vegetables, and fruits in your shopping and in your daily eating habit. Because let's be honest, when we eat out a lot, I used to eat out a lot, you know, three times a day, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and just getting food from the local fast food place just to satisfy cravings. I was not getting a healthy, balanced, and nutritious meal. Even if I would get a salad, you're talking about maybe once in a blue moon. I was not getting whole foods in my system. Now, here's some uh, other things that you may want to consider. Mushrooms, unsalted nuts, broccoli, different kinds of berries of different colors like blueberries, raspberries. So you, you get my point. 
So remember, shop by color and shop by variety. Think red, green, yellow. Now, here's one thing as a rule of thumb for green. If you go out in nature, you see the trees, grass, plants, most, the most dominant color is green. Green shows vibrance. It shows uh, health. So when it comes to buying foods, definitely make sure you get lots of dark green leafy vegetables. I can't stress that enough. They're full of vitamins and nutrients, and I'll go over that in more in in just a little bit. But definitely make sure your primary thing you want to get is lots of greens, because when you're driving, the thing that we're all looking for when we're driving, that's why I wanted to use this traffic light example. Green means go. Green means good. Green means keep moving. Green means don't stop. Go ahead. So you so you get what I'm saying about green? Load up on greens. I buy a lot of spinach and a lot of broccoli. Those are my two green leafy vegetables that I always buy. I buy spring mix, mix vegetables and I make sure that there's a lot of green leafy vegetables in it. And of course, I buy um, grape tomatoes, that's the red. I buy cucumbers, things of that nature, just to help add um, color and variety. Um, You know, your reds, remember? Your reds, your yellows, and your greens. Greens, most important, yellows and reds. Now, here's some benefits to eating whole fruits and veggies. They are a great way to add important nutrients to your body. A lot of us, if we're not taking supplements, you know, vitamins and so forth, we are lacking a lot when it comes to nutrition and nutrients in our bodies. So if we're not used to buying a lot of fruit and vegetables, guess what? You're missing out on these nutrients that our bodies need. Yeah, you can take um, supplements, but you you want to have food as your nutrition source, as your main nutrition source. And your supplements are just that. They're there to supplement what you eat and put in your body. So use food as medicine. Use food as fuel. Use food as your, your health boost. Whether you're dealing with inflammation, type 2 diabetes, and other chronic illnesses, trust me, whole foods is the way to go. Fruits and vegetables are full of fiber, potassium, vitamins, folic acid. They help to keep our organs healthy. They help to prevent and reverse certain medical conditions, as I alluded to. They also help to lower blood sugar, like celery and kale and some of these other dark green leafy um, veggies. If you're trying to lose weight, if you're trying to fit into that dress or you're trying to fit into those jeans, you know, that outfit, gentlemen, that you've been trying to to wear for a while, trust me, implement more fruits and vegetables and start eliminating a lot of that other stuff that is not healthy for us. You know what? I was looking up a chart today on the top vegetables that are purchased. And do you know potatoes ranks as like the top food in the U.S. that people are buying? I was like, wow, no wonder. So when it comes to buying vegetables, obviously potatoes are not on the top of the list of things that I want you to buy. I want you to do more of the leafy, dark green veggies and make potatoes like way down at the bottom, especially if you're trying to lose weight and reduce your blood sugar and so forth. And we can talk about that um, in another episode, but definitely keep that in mind. So the main thing is, as a reminder, I want you to challenge yourself to not leave the grocery store without purchasing foods based on these color groups. Okay, so remember, green, yellow, red. I say that one more time and I know you guys get it, but, you know, repetition is good for learning. Green, yellow, red. And which is the most important? green because we want to go. We want to keep moving and live a lifestyle that is healthy so we can be fit and feel 
alive. Now I have a gift for you for tuning in. Now to help you on your journey, I like to give you a tool free of charge. All you have to do is go on the website. Now this tool is a downloadable grocery shopping list based on the color method that I share today. So if you're interested www.beatingdiabeteslifestyle.com forward slash grocery list. And I'll put that down in the show notes. Now, I want to go ahead and as I wrap up, I want to encourage you. Listen, I know weight loss for some of you may be a struggle. It may have been a challenge. For years, you've been trying all kinds of diets and exercise programs and things just seem not to work. But listen, there's some simple things that you can do, like what I shared with you today, simple life hacks, simple things that you can do to implement today and get your journey well on the way so that you can live a fit life, a focused life and feel alive. Listen, I know what it is. There was a time where it was a struggle to try to turn my life around when it came to getting rid of cravings and food addictions. But listen, I made a commitment to myself to do whatever it took to transform my life. So I know that you can. If I can do it, you can do it. Type 2 diabetes is not the end. Today is the first day of the rest of your life. So I want to leave you with this final thought. Don't wait for tomorrow to start. Don't wait for next week to start. Don't wait for the perfect conditions to start. I want you to start today. Stop putting it off. Today is the day for you to go ahead and make changes and live the life that you want to live. And that is healthy. Don't set aside your health plans just because it's the weekend or just because it's the summer. Do today what's important and necessary for you to move forward. So as always, stay focused, keep moving, never go back. Trust God. You got this. I believe in you. Folks, if you want to connect with me, you can always email me at hello at beatingdiabeteslifestyle.com. Also on Instagram at Beating Diabetes Lifestyle. Listen, if you want to send me a video with a question or a comment, you can also use the HiHo app. That's H-I-H-O. This is a great new way to literally connect with me and share a question by recording a video. I think that's a great way for us to connect as well. Hi, everyone. Thank you for tuning in to the Beating Diabetes podcast with Oscar Camejo. We hope you enjoyed this episode. As a reminder, this podcast is intended for motivational and educational purposes only. It is not a substitute for professional care by a physician or other healthcare professional or qualified fitness instructor. This podcast is provided on the understanding that it does not constitute medical or professional advice or services. If you're looking for help on your journey, seek a qualified medical practitioner. It's important that you utilize someone who is a trained, licensed healthcare professional who can help you on your journey toward good health.